Charlie today. I'm going to review a book called Boss of Lunch, Junie B. Jones. Okay, are you ready to listen? Okay, I'm going to review this book. Junie B. Jones, first grader, Boss of Lunch. Junie B. Jones was having a new lunchbox and she loved that lunchbox so much. So before the class started, she was just looking at her lunchbox and touching it. That May said, Hey, Junie B is touching her lunchbox again. And she said, Oh, why have why May have to always say my things? But this is my my new lunchbox. Look, this bird is so cute and I like this so much and I really want to buy it. And then may always say what what Judy B does to her teacher. And that day at lunch lunchtime, and she said, everyone, Jose and Herb, Jose, Herb, I'm going to eat some sandwich and open my lunchbox. Come here, come here. But Jose and lunch were, were uh, Jose and Herb were buying lunch at the cafeteria. Why are you buying lunch? You always brought lunch. Oh, but I think almost everyone will buy lunch today. Why? Junie B asked. Today, they're hoagies. Everyone loves hoagies. Oh, I just, I just really want to open the lunchbox, but I really want the hoagie too. So Junie B thought, Oh, Hoagie just ruined my really great lunchbox, so everyone don't see me opening my new lunchbox. And she just blamed Hoagie. And they said, actually, bra lunch is it's too nutty. Actually, usually buy lunch is better. And Junie B cried, do you mean uh, my mom is nutty? And... And May said, look, this is really healthy and really delicious. You know, moms aren't cooks, but someone's mom can be cooks. And, and that day, she thought she was having a snack, but she wanted to have some cookies. But her was having cookies, and she was just having a chocolate bar. So she talked to Herb and said, Herb, today I really want to eat some chocolate chip cookies, but my mom doesn't give me chocolate chip cookies. I only just got chocolate bar, but Jose really didn't know if something feels cold. He really don't recognize those. So he said, oh, really? I love chocolate bar too. And he said, so Junie B was really mad. You don't understand like that. So I was Mimi, if you can give me a half of cookie cookie for me. I said, Oh, why didn't you say so here? And he did. He was the favorite friend with Junie B. And Junie B said, Oh, I want to see Mr Mrs. Goodsman. Mrs. Goodsman was Junie B's snap snack teacher? Like that, and someone who's giving snacks in the kindergarten, and she said, But actually, Mr. Goodsman loved me best in no room number one. Herb asked why, and because she gave sometimes she gave me cookie one more. <laughs> and Jose said, Oh, then room number three, she loved me best. Sometimes she really gave me cookie one, too, sometimes two more, too. Whoa, you be really great. I wish I were just on. Um, Room number three. Oh no, don't worry. And I really hope if there's Mrs. Goodsman. Oh, she's working in here cafeteria. Oh no, then I have to go. And when if I have lunch, if I work at the cafeteria, then she'll give me five cookies. <laughs> and she said, and she go to Miss Mrs. Goodsman and told her, I want. I want to work at your cafeteria too. And so there was a paper called Junie B is going to help it, the lunch helper. And and she go to her parents and give that note and said they agreed. And the next morning she go to the cafeteria and said to Mrs. Goodsman, I'm here, Mrs. Goodsman. Now I'm going to wear this, but there was something smelling not great, so she grabbed her nose and said, 
then Mrs. Fitzman get another pair of plastic gloves and give it to me. Why do you give me another one? I already have one, but nobody can eat something with nobody can eat that something with dirty hands. Our hands have to be clean. Okay, I'm going to get my clean. And I just wanted to say you have to welcome our, our visitors. Okay, like that, and one day there were a really grown-up kid coming inside, and she said, Welcome to our cafeteria, then two, the two boys said, Look, she's having a pant at her, at her, she was wearing a hat that you, like this hat, but they thought it was a pant, and <laughs> she was <laughs> like that, and so they bullied her, so Mr. Butzman tell them not to do it, and give her another pair of gloves. And then she was working and she was daydreaming again. And she was dreaming and she was a lunch helper. And people said, Whoa, you're the best. But only May said, Ha, you got lucky. Then a uh, duck came out and chewed and eat her. And she was having the silliest dream ever. So she was laughing and went off. There was there was her classmates, room number one. So she gave them all things. But she said, and look everyone, I'm the boss of lunch and I'm going to direct you. Okay, I'm going to give you this. And May said to her, please give me this a little bit more. Uh, no, I'm going to get some for me. And so that was a wrong and Goodsman yelled at her. Mrs. Goodsman yelled at her and that day the, the class classmates were on their class and Mrs. Goodsman and they didn't didn't eat any lunch so Mrs. Goodsman got some sandwich for everyone then she said I need someone to help me then come come at Junie B Junie B I need your help no Mr. Mrs. Goodsman there are plenty of people who can help you I'm just people like that but I want want the people who have been a lunch helper and she gave everyone cookies and sandwiches and everyone said thank you mrs goodsman but she's no junie say thank you for junie b and there was silence then jose said thank you junie b so it was hey, thank you junie b on the class and junie b write a note i am boss of cookies and i made a rule bus number bus rule number one Sometimes the cookie boss can eat more cookies than her friends. Boss rule number two, sometimes she can eat five of them. <laughs> and this is the end. Okay, and this story is really fun. Junie B serious. Junie B is real, real, really fun. This Junie B serious. Really uh, I don't think eating cookie five won't be good, won't be healthy. Okay, and thank you for listening to my book review. Bye!